Hello, welcome to the Stephen Trice Podcast, <laughs> Series 2, Episode 38. What? Pencil. Yes. Time flies. Yeah, yeah. Go on, do you want to make a joke? Use it for one line. Time flies. <laughs> I'll just say it again then. Yeah. <laughs> so he says it though, it's very start, funny. Well I'm joined by Ryan Lock. Hey! hey. Ryan! I don't think you can really do that after that. Do, do I tell you about the time uh, a seagull stole my watch? I was just thinking about how time flies. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. Uh, it does. It's about 20 seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> Time does I'm also joined play. by the disappointed Max Smith. Yeah, on, Hello Max. there. And the furious Joe McGrath. Furious. <laughs> um, Joe, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Well, the weekend was a bit disappointing. Um, I think I asked. I just said, yeah, you said, yeah, how are you? Yeah, All right, I'm great. Okay, I'm just great, slow thank down. You. I'm great. I'm God, great. It's, this is a morning <laughs> podcast. We're doing it early because... Uh, you can tell. Max and myself are away for when we usually do it. Um, yeah. And... Joe, you, you've had a lot of coffee, it seems. Uh, I'm ready for it. I'm just a bit yeah. more hyper than... Because I had a breakfast mm. pie from Morrison's. It really filled me up. <laughs> mm. And uh, I just feel like I'm on a different level. But I'll crash soon. We'll all be on the same level. On a different level. No, like, in breakfast terms of, like, pie. ready. Yeah, I used to go sure. up like, dead early, didn't I? Like, 4.30. That's so true, yeah. yeah. It's like a lane. Uh, so, so what did you get up to at the weekend, Joe? Um, went to see Man United lose 2-0 in the yeah. Manchester. It was it was awful. Yeah. And I bought a ticket off a man. Do you know what? You speak to someone on Twitter, because I tried to get a ticket last minute. Yeah. And you don't know if they're legit or whatever. And I had to go meet him in Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> because <laughs> he wanted to email at me, but I wanted to see him in person. Right. I wanted to look in his eyes. I wanted to suss the man out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 80 quid he wanted and to charge. And you didn't him. want a donut at all, no, did you? <laughs> Think of the nice frappe. You're, you're the one that said to me that. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to be in Dunkin' Donuts for three hours. On a <laughs> but he was, uh, yeah, because he, he, he wanted 125 quid. Fuck off. And I managed no. to get it down to 80. Nice. Well, I wanted 70, but he wasn't budging. Met him there, transferred him the money, and then I got the ticket. Um, although I was worried that, you know, I was going to have to be who's the ticket I was going to be Jamal if <laughs> someone asked and I just thought I'm not going to get away with this you so could do all the time building up to it I was very very nervous but the United security was this, like Doop. this in. is what we do improv for you know <laughs> any scenario we do like this, this. Yeah. I'd love to see a montage of Joe just trying to get into character Dunkin' Donuts Jamal 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 very good seats it, yeah, I'm so high up so high up I nearly died on the way up there you don't understand how high up is and I was surrounded by a lot of Northern Irish people isn't yeah, so we've never been high up in the world you know? yeah, yeah what the hell yeah, what, what, what what is is the he's called Kilimanjaro yeah, he had mountain rescues he's even... been on top of the world yeah, yeah. 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 sorry well, I've been in the box seats in Old Trafford <laughs> 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 who's high up and then you know we shite so, rumour day rumour day you know what it's just because it's a game that they lost doesn't ruin your day yeah, but the last two games have been proud. We got beat Liverpool 5 0. Then I thought things were going to change. And then. What, what changed? Nothing, nothing much yeah. changed. We looked like so, we shit yeah. our pants. But I thought uh, Chris, is it Ronaldo? He was an e- yeah. isn't he new to the team? That was well, like a big thing. Wasn't I say it? the thing that annoyed me the most is afterwards, you know, the players post something on social media about how upset they are. Eric Bailly posted his own goal, right? He posted a photo of before and after his own goal. So the first photo was it touching his leg, and the second photo was in the back. It was the ball in the back of the net, and he was like just apologising for it. Just don't show us the goal again. Is it yeah, his yeah. fault the club he photographer really... didn't get a snap of it? Yeah. Too sure. The only ones they got ever, you know, him scoring own goals. Yeah, mm. take it up with the photographer, not Eric Bailly. There was an own goal. Yeah, yeah. Two, it was <laughs> I'd say two on goal. Pathetic. Fucking pathetic. United, ma- had, United, uh, uh, United had more uh, shots on our own goal than they did on the City's goal because there was another one where Maguire yeah. nearly scored. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Ryan, you're a massive United fan. You've not said much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I've not. Uh, I was following. I've got. Yeah, well, this scores. is this is a bit much for. It's... Yeah, we've not even got to Max's football roundup. Shut up, mate. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Stepping sorry, on toes there, Ryan. Yeah. I've no, not no, watched him. Hey, 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 shush. God. Max watches that. Before it comes out Religiously In here yeah. yes. 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 In my yes. head yes. some reason <laughs> <laughs> uh, It was bonfire night on Friday hey. Hey. Did you do anything for it? No uh, It's Friday wasn't it? Yep we have established yeah. that Yep Dude, Time flies Joe uh, where, I was, where I live it was chaos Yeah War zone Yeah there was just there, I've got a you video You still live in the Gaza Strip? I've got a video Still live in Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> <laughs> 
I got a video of uh, there's these block of flats near me, and there was in the in the courtyard. I've got the video. You can put it up maybe. And a, a guy, they're all watching on the balconies, and a guy sets a firework alight, and it goes into the fifth floor. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no. And he shouts up, "Is everyone all right?" And then he just cracks on. But I managed just to film it because I was sending it to my mum. Like, look, this is like it's mad round here. Um, Mum, pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she's like, what's edgy, edgy yeah. like? I said, it's a bit chaos. Do you want to hear my impression of a firework? No. Um, no I do, please. It's <sighs> good. It's good. Really yeah, good. good. A little bit of ASMR there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't know what that means. That ASM sweet. Ryan. You've never heard of ASMR? When they whisper into the microphone. Arsehole oh. Stephen Max Ryan. ASMR. Nice. Which one was I again? <laughs> anyway. I think Arsehole Stephen was one. <laughs> 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 um, Ryan, did you, yep. did you do anything this weekend? Uh, I've just been working a lot. Uh, yeah. Just did twelve-hour shifts Saturday and Sunday. It was awful. Nice on um, God's day. Right. Yeah, it was just so busy. There's a, a is it Disney on Ice is on at the moment oh, in Manchester, yeah. and we're wow. just getting flocks of and families, of course, and yeah, people kids, on the skates, and, you yeah, know, Disney playlists, Dancers. just yeah, yeah, Pluto, yeah, yeah. Do they yeah. do anything? But they all come in, yeah. Yeah, uh, come in Pluto. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh-huh. Why are you looking at me? Brilliant. Oh, well. <laughs> oh yeah. <'cause> <laughs> uh, any indoor fireworks? No, no, no indoor fireworks. Unfortunately, um, <laughs> it's yeah, not that exciting to be honest with you. It's uh, did Dave work? Just yeah, he worked during the day de- uh, on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, sw- I so I was meant to just be working Sunday morning, but I swapped with him, so I was working the evening as well. Oh God, and, uh, why? I regretted it big time. Yeah, don't do that. And that was TJ Rota uh, yeah. segment there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stay tuned for that next week. So for the jingle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, your podcast has launched. Uh, we I plugged it last week. Mm. That picture yeah. podcast. Yeah, that right. picture. Did you do it in slag of a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you do it in slag of a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were screwing. You texted me saying, we yeah. talked about it. And oh, I was we like, did? I was like, yeah, you're going to slag of a podcast for a while. <laughs> a good... Was Cam here? <laughs> no. no. Was Cam no. not even here to back it up? <laughs> uh, if, you, if you've not been put off by that, just have a listen. We um, promoted it. Max is, on, Max, is, oh, Max is one will be out now. Yeah. Now? Max is brilliant. Oh, Max is brilliant speaking about movies. We didn't know that. You pussy should, should have just got me on the podcast, mate. <laughs> should have replied to an email, mate. <laughs> is he? Do you, know I mean? Do you know what I mean? He's trying to say Max is brilliant. Oh, is he? We should get him on this podcast, you <laughs> fucking moron. <laughs> Do you want to come on? Do you know what? Um, he picked up four awards the other week. And you're going, did. oh, Max is brilliant. You did. Yeah, mate. Oh, right. You were there, mate. I picked up three, but I only got one trophy. No, I think, I think you, uh, you got one that was given to Dave because of Stephen Lies. You got the thickest. I don't remember you getting another one. I think, did I not get the embarrassing story where... No, that wasn't an award. Sorry, Joe. Sorry. Well, I've only got one award. uh, Thank you. Yeah, please listen. Uh, That picture podcast. Thank you. That PP. (laughs) Yeah. That's what you did last week. (laughs) Looking forward to hearing that. Yeah, yeah. We all are, mate. We all are. Ooh! um, The first episode of... I should have done this before. uh, Of the... Netflix show Steven Tries Cunning Stunts is out. Yes! Oh, Watch yeah. it. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Link, link below, just above mm. Joe's podcast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's about me getting set on fire. Max is in it. Love it. Yeah. Um, Max did one take, um, annoyingly for me, because I did about 15 for my intro. Um, <laughs> it's good, though. I got set on fire. Yeah, yeah incredible. I don't, I don't want to spoil it. But I'm still alive. Can you give us any secrets on how you get set on fire? When you were uh, you're at your base layer, practically naked in your shorts yeah. in a caravan, as I was, uh, <laughs> and then you get then after pleasing the director, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking it this room, Netflix. <laughs> um, and then they they cover you in this this gel, basically, yeah. but it's soaked in whatever clothes you're wearing. It's, it's just like Under Armour, that sort yeah, of yeah, yeah, very tight, tight layer that's soaked in this gel uh, that is fire retardant. Um, and then you've got that on, and then you put another layer on, yeah. which is basically just the same, but it's not soaked in the gel. And then I had, uh, if you go go karting, one of those sort of, uh, I can't think what the word is. it's an outfit. Yeah, like yeah, racing. Yeah, like a, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, that. yeah. And then I had a fireman's outfit over that, oh or firefighter's outfit, SARS. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then balaclava on, that was soaked in the gel, and they just covered my face in the gel. What the uh, hell? It was a lot. Yeah. What about your vulnerable. eyes? Yeah. 
Yeah, Do you feel heat? That. Was it oh, hot? Right. Yeah. So when you were on fire, did you have your eyes open? Yeah. They're actually forced right. open. So, so I could see where I was going. Yeah, right. yeah, I know. I guess so. I didn't, I guess so. I didn't I just, walk oh, into the like fucking casting crew. So yeah. was it warm in there? It was, well, the, the gel was freezing cold. Right. Um, so it was sort of balanced out with the fire. Yeah. Amazing. What um, sick. Yeah, yeah. So they, they burnt my arm, my back and my legs. What if you had like hair? Did they say get rid of your hair? No, Joe. Because it was covered, covered in five completely layers. covered. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Apart uh, from his eyes, which were so exposed that, you know, <laughs> he yeah. suddenly burnt. My eyes have been exposed to worse things, though. That's so true. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah? That's a sort of, <laughs> a sort of comeback Ryan has. <laughs> when he used to get heckled. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. Noted. <laughs> Sir or madam, I can't see. <laughs> Someone get my glasses, please. <laughs> View on stage, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, watch that. They're, they're either going to be out every month or every two weeks. So, please watch it. Um, uh, Can't wait to watch I'm actually going to miss it when it's done. Because yeah. you've get been there. It's good fun. Yeah, yeah. We'll get a series two. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. If people watch it, there'll be a series two. Plenty and of stunts out it's, there. It's along yeah. the sort of Heights. lines of sketches as well. Yeah, on Netflix's YouTube. Netflix's YouTube channel. Um, Stephen tries cunning stunts. <laughs> Go yeah. over there, give it a like, guys. Smash that like button. Same accent, yeah. Mm. Same accent, yeah. Share it with your friends and family. Mm. Yeah. Enough said. If you don't, then we'll set you on fire. <laughs> We've learnt a lot from these trips. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else have we got? Max, what have you been up to? Do you want me to give you an angle? Yes, please. Uh, your video with Robbie Knox has gone out. Mm. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, Very well received. Watched it. Great scenes. Um, oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Don't know why Ryan's clapping because he's definitely not seen it yet. Not yet. Well, have you ever have I've you realised your star power? Um, uh, I, I don't know. I, it's a bit. Too, you know, it's a bit much, isn't it? You know, um, I'm not used to it. People are interested. People yeah, are people intrigued. Are yeah, too intrigued. Oh, I appreciate yeah, yeah. everyone going over there. Uh, thank you. I bet. I bet Robbie does more. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he was. Did like. you swear in it? You're allowed to swear. Yeah, in I think it? so. Yeah. Yeah, I asked him if I could. Yeah. And I did. Um, what were you up to? What have I done? Um, what have you oh, done, Stephen? So, this is going back a while now, but I went to um, the full match, the first ever Champions League match I've watched. Mm, uh, nice. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Very good, good fun. Um, I was sat in the nicer seats, not in a box, yeah. but the nicer seats uh, in the new stand. Very fancy. Um, good what, game. What's the new stand like? Massive. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Is it? Very did, good. Did, did you like... Is it... Because I was speaking to someone at sea, and their yeah. nice new seats, you could actually turn them on and be heated. Yeah, I, don't, that's I don't a bit know if too that is, wow. is. Ruins the football oh. atmosphere, I think, in a way. You yeah. want to be freezing. <laughs> what atmosphere at City, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fratton yeah. Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Who'd you go with? Uh, my dad. Love Because he's taken me to a load of games, so finally I took him to one. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Good game. And Louis Suarez was there. He used to play for Liverpool. Wow. And, uh, he had a shitter. Did Good. you boo him? He was having a bad bad game anyway. I didn't need to uh, get in his head. You know, what about your dad, though? That's a different story. I booed my dad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 90 minutes. He, you know, finally you bring me to a game and you do that. Yeah. Dick the move. Yeah. <laughs> they did win as well, didn't they? Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank Same you, Gary Lineker. Fuck yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, God. You trying to fit him with the lads? It's cringe, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Save a segment for me, please, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the lads, uh, uh, for the viewers at home, uh, listeners at home, <laughs> Ryan is a Satsuma. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a sponsor. Yeah. 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 It's our good old friends. Where have you been? Beer 52. Beer 52. 52. Beer 52. What am I reading here? Oh, oh, you've read this before. What's better than eight free beers? That's right. Ten. Mm-hmm. Wow. Ten yep. beers. The festive season is upon us, and the spirit of giving and charity, Beer 52 are offering their listeners ten free beers. Wow. That's enough to kill a few hamsters. All you have to do is go to <laughs> www.beer52.com forward slash Stephen and cover the five ninety five postage uh, to claim your free case. What's more, do it before the 17th of December and get two 
extra beers. Oh, wow, wow, is that twelve we now. Were. No, I think no, it, I think it's ten. I think it's oh, ten. Right. ten. Yeah, yeah. You greedy, <laughs> fucking greedy. <laughs> They send experts around the globe to find the best beer available anywhere. Each month, their members receive a new case. Members have had beer from more than 40 countries across five continents. Wow. You'll receive... Uh, Ten free beers. Ferment Magazine. Hooray! Ferment Magazine. magazine. And you'll also get two delicious snacks. After redeeming your first case, you'll join the monthly beer club, which is £24 per month. No minimum commitment. Pause or cancel at any time. Uh, And that is at www.beer. 52.com forward slash Stephen S T E P H E N. You know what? That uh, the postage is still the same price, Love and it. yet you get two extra beers. Wow, well, good stuff. Love it. Uh, what would your tactic be to kill a hamster with ten beers? Right, Joe. Let's move past that. It's <laughs> throw away line, mate. Would you throw it him? Bang. No, stop. It's embarrassing. You know you've done enough harm to animals. <laughs> no, kill the hamster. As we're recording a little bit in advance, I thought it'd be good to. Predict some news. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, any, any, do you want to predict some news? Um, yeah, I predict that. Predict. One of the- <laughs> I couldn't say it, mate. You're so stupid. So I did that you read the fucking dictionary. Fuck off. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, sorry, that's not sorry, nice, sorry. is it? No, that's a, that's a nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gritting your teeth as you say that. I, I think. predict that one of us four is going to be sick in the next week. That's not that's, nice. That's horrible, isn't it? It's not nice. I, mean, I hope it's you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> what did you put you. in this water, man? <laughs> you, you'd be uh, uh, Max hinting that he needs a to top up the... <laughs> put in this empty glass, mate. <laughs> Better up. What if something just went missing? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, do you mean like a big robbery? Yeah. Yes. An art heist. Yeah. Uh, like the Big Brother... Chair. I saw a poster for Planet Earth Live in concert. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they had a picture of a sloth on it, uh, not Joe. And um, and I thought, what what are they going to do? Like bring out some penguins with you know Madonna headsets on? Well, it's like, it's, wah, wah. Uh, oh, can we not do some jokes first before yeah, you yeah. answer it, Ryan? Give the God, truth, God, yeah. God forbid we have Dick a bit guys. of a laugh before you step in. <laughs> Hold on, no, I, yeah, I yeah. like musicals. I, 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 I have a passion. I am passionate about theatre, and I won't have this. No. Penguins with headsets. That's nonsense. No, no, I've got a friend in the business who knows what's going on no. here. Why are you doing a James Ormond again? <laughs> Acting like him. <laughs> what were you going to say, Ryan? Sorry. <sighs> I was just going to say, I, I watched Planet Earth yesterday. Oh, fuck it. Hey, I'm watching it every fucking the... day, mate. Uh, I'm watching it now, bro. The music is <laughs> done going on by all around uh, us, mate? Hans Zimmer, who's a very good composer, which would be why he's touring. He's dead now. It's like your mum's in his clam predicting the news. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Could we have a bit of a laugh? Hans once? Zimmer dies. Wow. I wonder what music I'll have at his funeral. Oh, the Inception yeah. one. He's composed yeah. it already. Yeah, I would. Yeah. If, I, if I had that level of you, skill. You can yeah, do it. Yeah. I, I don't have that skill, though. I think you should do a, <laughs> a death max for when you're... Do it now. Death max. Death max. Oh, the only yeah. thing that's guaranteed is death and... Maxes. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Mm. There we go. <laughs> death of maxes. Yeah. Would you record mine for me to... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, mate, let's get a move on with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Oh, shit. Everyone farts after they die anyway. You, Apparently so. You shit yourself, yeah. Um, just shit myself after this coffee, to be honest. Thanks for being honest, Ryan. <laughs> honest Ryan, new segment. Honest Ryan. Um, now, I don't like getting political anymore because people moan. Oh, wee, wee, wee. Oh, no, boring. Fucking Tories. Um, however, I signed a petition yesterday and it was keep James Corden out of the Wicked musical. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh really well no it's just something I got sent and I thought it was quite funny mm. uh, there's a petition to stop James Corden from being in I think it's the film Wicked the Music oh, oh right yeah yeah um, <laughs> about doesn't he yeah he, he really does if there's ever a musical he's he's involved yeah. why is he a good singer um, I think he can sing yeah. but yeah. There's, there's obviously better singers oh yeah of course if you go to some sort of Broadway school yeah. mm. Skepta or some sort of yeah. school yeah, yeah Skepta. Skepta in the Wicked he, he, <laughs> if he gets <laughs> why not I yeah. just don't know what bit he'd do. Do you know what bit just James Corden would do? When I defy and the sceptre comes in. Oh, <laughs> God, this guy. Yeah. He's stepping on your musical toes. Yeah. Oh, that's wicked. Me, mate. Best mm. musical I ever saw. Is it? Yeah, yeah wicked. It? Do you want to give us a review? Uh, very good. Uh, I liked the, the ending. It ends sort of uh, really going ending. into The Wizard of Oz. 
Spoilers. 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 Spoilers.
still the same premise. Oi, did you hear what that loony bloke just said? Yes, but it's actually Locky Bloke, yeah. uh, as it's Ryan Locke's celebrity gossip. Uh, Ryan, Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson were reportedly seen getting lunch together. Right. Um, what's going on there? And uh, Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 From a um, price is right. Right. Thank you. Oi, did you hear what that loony bloke just said? Moving on. If you can tell me the Lucas. Quite surprised, to be honest. Yeah, 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 boy. Last week, two people got the location correct. It wasn't me. I've never got it right. They did a good roll because the week before, didn't you get Canada? Yeah. Yeah. So you just make these You've harder. got two in a row. I have. This could be the hat trick. Oh, hat trick. <gasps> oh. 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 Easy. Yeah, get him. <laughs> uh, man in hot water for running taps non-stop for a year. <gasps> oh. Japan. Uh, Sweden. Switzerland. You've messed up there, right? Yeah, you've messed up, up big, big time. time. Germany. Oh, oh, I was going to go, oh, Germany. Do you know who you should, you should get the point of closest? No, oh. yeah, no, that's not the game. Ridiculous. He's got two in a row. That means you get real pride when you get it right. The theme tune is I'd be quite surprised to be honest. It's not, get a point if you're near. <laughs> Grow up. So, really weird story. A uh, guy in uh, Salzgitter in Germany uh, was running every single tap in his house. Wow. He even had the toilet non-stop flushing. Oh. Don't know how you do that. Insane. Uh, he did it for so long. Like uh, prune smoothie. <laughs> he used up 7 million litres of water. Wow. That's too much. Uh, and then, for some reason, the, the, the way they caught mean. him was he then, after a year, he put uh, all the plugs in and started to flood the flat he was oh, living in. Like Home Alone? Yeah, maybe the Wet it was, bandits? Yeah, maybe it was Did that. you mean caught him? Like, was he like... You're suggesting this is Joe Pesci in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> was he on the run or something? No, no. The taps were... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah, really Monday morning funny. Um, the, police, <laughs> the police had to break in and use tear gas to stop him. God. Because he was... You know, but he had goggles on I anyway. I wonder what, what his thought process was. Well, he's now was. in a psychiatric hospital, right, so okay. maybe just oh. sadly... He just likes water. Illness. Yeah, maybe because of COVID, he couldn't go to Waterworld. Oh, to God, yeah. Maybe he's on slide. Yeah. Maybe he was part of fish. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Your mum is. <laughs> 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 Did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> yeah, he did. Why is my mum pop? <laughs> it's Fishy Friday, mum. <laughs> Carol into this. <laughs> what a great episode of uh, Headline News. Yeah. Headline News. I've got things, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. I can't believe I didn't get my hat trick. We got Santan Dave to make a theme tune, and you're busy doing that, mate. <laughs> Do you have some reliable source? Yeah, yeah my yeah, favourite. Yeah, yeah. Tartar sauce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this week's reliable source is Tahini. Love. What? Amazing. Okay. You were on a ban. Because last week you uh, you said several words. Yep. So you put on a four week ban. What was it last I week? Didn't realize. So well, I was when you just shouting episode, it in mate. your face. Four week ban. Okay. You're you're on a week ban now. That from now. Yeah. Does it include a week I'm not here? Yeah. Thanks. Let's slag off a podcast. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This week. This again. week's. <laughs> I have a clip to play. Oh. Podcast. Yeah, Stephen, Stephen tries, tries podcast. podcast. There you go. Very good. It's well right. worth listening to. Happy hours better. <laughs> Hold on, what was that? <laughs> Max, what, what what was that from? <laughs> I literally don't know, mate. That's that's being fucking no, doctored. No, that no, 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 that's no, been no, fucking no, no. doctored. Explain yourself. I can't believe it. <laughs> See, I, what you don't realise underneath the uh, the frame is a gun <laughs> pointed know, right at my being. Carries, but still. Mm. Die for the podcast. <laughs> wow. With your last words being, yeah, listen to it. Things we've been through together. You can you can put it right now. Yeah, I will. Don't slug off this podcast, by the way. Uh, Happy Hour podcast is shockingly bad. Um, it's actually used as a form of torture in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> um, it's actually uh, sort of saved a lot of lives in that way because yeah. a lot of ISIS prisoners have <laughs> given up... Uh, 
a lot of information because yeah. they don't want to listen to any more Jack Mate shit. Um, that was such a stupid thing of me to say. And maybe if you just go into the comments of the uh, the walk video of me and Robbie Knox and just say, sort it out, Max. Happy hour is shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that would sort of go a long way to making me feel a little bit better about the, the situation. By the time this comes out, it'll be like two weeks later. <laughs> <laughs> a flurry of comments in that video. <laughs> but yeah, no, do you know what? Shameful, shameful behaviour. Yeah. And I do apologise. If we never brought it up, would you just let it... I do, I won't, I'm not going to lie to you, I forgot. I forgot oh. I said that. I think Robbie doped him up. Some food. Yeah, actually got me a bottle of water, like a, a... Not a bottle, it was like a carton of water. Wow. Mm. So, so he gave you a water. Fucking <laughs> hell, that's what I asked for. <laughs> he offered something else and I said, I'll just have a water, Here's please. some donuts if you want. Sorry, guys. Thanks for rectifying that, Modem. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to our talking point this week. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Uh, this first one was either Googled or written by Max, so <laughs> get on this. Um, if you could have a second chance at one moment in life, what moment would that be? I would, when I was like um, 16, I went for an audition for The Young Apprentice. <laughs> so Imagine it was like that. an apprentice thing, but it was every like week. Audition. Donuts, they make donuts. <laughs> yeah. Joey's donuts. Yeah. Well, I decided uh, for some reason I went out with a friend called Andy, and we uh, so the night before we went out for very late. It was like till three to four in the morning. Yeah, so I didn't get much sleep, and I went in the same. I went to the audition in the same clothes mm. as I um, as I as I was out the night before. In you drinking? I was drinking a lot. Sixteen. So, so, well, yeah, you, you you can get in pretty uh, some places. I can town. get in anywhere, mate. Come with me. No. Oh, no Thing is, you you look you know sort of young you know, yeah, whereas yeah. you look like a thirty eight year old banker. Yeah. I did. I did. <laughs> a banker. It's a banker. Banker. Oh, banker. Sort of stumbled on my words. There, um, so I didn't realize that you'd pick up on it. <laughs> so, what you call me a wanker. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I got through the first stage. The first stage, everyone lined Getting up. Getting in the building. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Security. Uh, the first stage, everyone lined up. You had to go forward thirty seconds to tell people about yourself. Yeah. I think I was still a bit drunk and I was quite confident. And then so they went right you're through to the next stage the second stage was like an interview with someone but well, before I had uh, the interview I went and got off I threw up everywhere so I I got an interview with this woman and I was stinking in the same clothes and my breath was oh. and I really wish that I could just like do that again yeah it's I could poor have been choices a, isn't it yeah. it was poor I had a great time though <clears throat> right God, it's weird to think if, if things had turned out differently, you could be like a little yeah. Alan Sugar. Or a big, big Alan yeah. Sugar, you know? Probably bigger yeah. than, and I like sugar. Yeah. 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 Do you like yeah. Alan's? I've got an uncle called Alan. Uh, so you'd, you'd go on The Young Apprentice? Or the... Yeah, I'd do that again. Yeah. Not go out the night before and not throw up. Is this was... the one that was on CBBC? Yeah, I think so. It was at the yeah. Malmaison. Um Oh, yeah. Fancy oh, no, the Radisson, the Radisson. That was where the interviews were. <laughs> Mummy, the, the man on TV scaring me. My name's Joe McGrath. <laughs> 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 what's, your, what's your product on it? Sick bags. <laughs> Loads of them. Everywhere you go. It's a necklace that has a sick bag on it. It's, <laughs> it's alcohol for 15 year olds. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fake idea of me. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal. <laughs> Uh, what about you, Max? What, what about never smoking? Never smoking, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah that'd be amazing. Uh, what about you, Ryan? Uh, it's a couple I'm torn between. Uh, I think one of them is. Do your mum and dad. <laughs> Brilliant. Is there a couple? Um, probably... Oh, what a fucking disc! Because my birth mother and my father aren't a couple anymore. Wow. wow. Yeah, and mine aren't either. <laughs> I'd probably go back to when we were in IB for the first time and just buy them Avicii tickets. Yes, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. When you they say buy like... them Avicii tickets, you mean your parents? Because right, or... he's dead now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah. 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 Moron. <laughs> they, they were like 85 euros and we were like, ooh, no, should we? We were having an R in. Yeah. Didn't do it. Six God. months later, dead. Sadly dead, yeah. Really? Oh. No. Should have done that. This but um, another one, my first audition was for London Dungeons and they rejected me. Um, they said they, they were worried about my voice not lasting enough. Like they do something like 
30 shows a day so oh, they were God, worried that my sick. voice wouldn't last which is um you know at the time do you reckon I that could have got them. you further in life if you'd done that no i don't think so just the experience you've got to start yeah. from somewhere though aren't you yeah this is it it's so true this is it but you know i kind of want to do it again just so i can get the job and right, reject it uh so you what oh <laughs> so it's sort of like you had a crush on someone for ages and then uh they didn't like you Mm. Now you want to get with them just to dump them. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Has any of your crushes ever made you perform in bed? Like, be, like, be some form Sorry, say that again. Ages. Sorry, what? Have you ever done role plays? Uh, I think we've got into this before. <laughs> no, we haven't. <laughs> no, we haven't. No? No? Okay, well... Have you done, uh, like, acting oh, actually, in bed? Think, uh, no, you've, you've, what? you've not, done not that acting. outside of the podcast. Like what? I've, I've dressed up before. <laughs> as, <laughs> should we, as someone from the London as, Should we move on? <laughs> <laughs> Cap- Captain Hook. <laughs> I'm like Captain Cuck. Yeah. <laughs> Mum, what are you banging him for? <laughs> you said you could bring Dad to the bedroom. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> your throat won't last, boy. <laughs> You're 20, 29 just more times. I apologise there. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel. Uh, Everyone's mum's getting it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. God, that's so true. What about yours? I worried a lot when I was a kid. Mm. Um, I just would have realised, you know, does it fucking Chill matter? Out. Yeah, yeah. It's Chill. year four art. <laughs> Your teacher's dead now anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah. No, B-I-H. <laughs> well, bitch something. I don't know. <laughs> Burning hell. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. She's probably got my uh, paper mache stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling the fire. Uh, yeah, just stuff when I was a kid. Yeah. I feel like I yeah. had a shelter Chill your beans. myself. But, yeah. you know, if you didn't go through that, beans. would you be who you are today? Oh, exactly. Maybe I'd be better. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah, maybe. Yeah, mate. <laughs> could be worse. Could be worse. You could be Joe. God, yeah, so true. Wow, what are you doing? Four. Get your Sorry. bloody finger away. Joe, would you take a car, please? Is it a deal breaker if your partner can't cook? That. No. 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 Becky Becky can cook like the good things like a cottage pie. Yeah. You what? fuck a cottage pie. <laughs> Go on, Joe. Don't fuck a cottage pie. No. Especially yeah. not a hot one. Yeah. No. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Bernie mints. Yeah. Great Ooh. character. Especially that <laughs> cut as well. We'll be later. Um, yeah. well, if it goes, if it's That's, a bit. Too- sorry, no, no, no. I was just saying, especially with that cut on your penis as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. God, you don't want gravy in there. Oh, you probably yeah. have, haven't you? I've never put gravy in there. <laughs> Okay, to be honest, have you? Um, what are we up to? Oh, cooking. Cooking. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's a nice thing, but then you can learn to cook together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's nice. Who's the better cook right now, you or Zoe? Zoe. Yeah. I'm I'm a very very average cook. I overcook things because mm. I'm always like, oh, I'd rather it be. Yeah, yeah. Overdone. Oh, exactly the same. Underdone. Yeah. I like playing it risky, me. Yeah. Oh. My halloumi is very dry. Very dry. <laughs> There's, there's no well, other actually, way to you hear can't, that, yeah, What's also, the family? Also, you can't overcook halloumi. You can't get salmon off yeah, I know. undercooked halloumi. I, I know, I know. But I, I would rather right. it was like, you know... Kind of if it was in... for what? It did just... Dry and crispy. Dry and crispy, yeah. What's your favourite thing to cook? Uh, roast dinner. Uh, yeah, that's your favourite thing to... Uh, yeah. is, that a, is that a Sunday thing? Or is it... Uh, it, it was at one point, and then it just became, if I can buy a chicken... Yeah. I'll make a roast chicken. <laughs> There's some great recipes out there. Yeah. Shove, a, shove a lemon in it. Yeah, delicious. And then when you uh, eat it, it's got that sort of citrusy Lemony taste to chicken. it. Did you ever yeah. get that from the Chinese lemon chicken? Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, I used to love that. Oh. Yeah. No. Didn't. You might like it. I might do. I love a Chinese. Should we get, should we get one after? <clears throat> Happy season? Nope. <laughs> um... What about you, Ryan? Favorite thing to make? Uh, I mean, I, I actually really enjoy just stir fries. I know they're dead easy. Yeah, stir I love fries, like, yeah, they're good. Just seasonings and yeah. you know, different veggies. I quite enjoy like just chopping veg. Do you know what I mean? Like just <laughs> chopping veg. Work in a factory, mate. I like, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Chopping veg factory. Yeah. Here's one for uh, um, stir fries. Cashew nuts. Do you like that? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, fun. that's, yeah. Fun. that's what I do. Yeah. By yourself. Oh, so at the weekend, uh, Zoe and myself tried to make chocolate apples. You know, because right. we get. Halloween times, bonfire, I don't know. And we, uh, so we melted the chocolate, uh, did all that, and then the apple just, uh, we put it on and it wouldn't set for ages. So I put it in the freezer and then I had to wait a whole day whole for it to day. actually set. 
and then I went to bite it. Well, it was Zoe's, and uh, she was going, I can't bite it. Like, it's, it's too hard. So I was like, oh, give it here. And then I completely forgot the apple would be frozen too. So it, was, <laughs> it was disgusting. And then I was trying to just, I was trying to just bite the chocolate off it, and I slipped, and I'd put a fork into it just so you can hold oh. it. I'd cut, my, I'd cut my lip on it, and I just said, oh, let's bin it. The dangers of cooking, man. That's wow. it, mate. Dangers of cooking. So... Guys, just don't do that at home, yeah? yeah. Learn from my mistakes. Yeah. Stupid pissing apples. I like fajitas. Yeah. yeah, yeah I love yeah. fajitas. Yeah, but you don't have to one-up me, do you, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking adore them, man. Yeah. Right, I like them. I like them. <laughs> I've got one down my <laughs> At that point, you'd have and to go... Enchowed yeah. lard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, it's Joe's <laughs> cock. Oh, yeah. Why is that wow. disgusting? Mm. Yeah. Let's answer that. Because <laughs> it's attached to you. <laughs> <Hey>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. If someone proposed to their partner at your wedding <gasps> and you didn't know it was going to happen, would you be upset or happy for them? Yeah, I'd be. I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd definitely make a comment. Be, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Cunt. <laughs> Just like, there's like three, there's so many other days you could do it. Yeah, right, yeah, do it yeah. now. Name five. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Boring. Pancake Nine. Day. Do what? Nice. Wednesdays. <laughs> 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 um, Shrove Tuesday. Oh, Shrove yeah, Tuesday. That's Pancake Day, it's isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 got, you got to the fourth of uh, Pancake Day. <laughs> I before think, I, I wouldn't be that bothered I, th- I right. would want them to let me know before well they've not the thing is not. Not. surprise right, attack okay, then yes alright fair enough <laughs> what about if they did that thing where they surprise keep, attack she catch the bouquet of flowers mm. and then you know turn around and then he's there on one knee I'd just say fuck off you two yeah. go home no yeah. one gives a shit it's our day yeah what here's if, Mambo number five if, if someone stuff. came up to you though I went stay I'm gonna max it stay I'm gonna try I'm gonna propose at your wedding is that alright what would you say I feel a bit harsh with it being max can we do Ryan Ryan came up wow. to you I'll go oh can I, can I see the ring please <laughs> fuck off <laughs> my <Yeah>. savings gone <laughs> <laughs> I mean it worked gone anyway yeah yeah mm. but the audacity to do that yeah it's just yeah. Well, I'd swallow it that's fair it's, swallow it yeah Wow, you're safe. So I'll have to rummage through your shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait there, wait there. Just got on. Uh, Is that how you uh, do it? You put gloves on. Strong fingers. Yeah. <laughs> don't marry golds. I, I'd just say, general rule, you don't do that. You don't wear yeah. white if you're if you yeah. go to a wedding, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just a dickhead move, I think. Mm. Yeah. Completely agree. Yeah. You can get swept up in the romance and the love, thinking, "Oh, I want that." But to have the ring there, you've already, you've already. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. Evil. Somebody else's day. Leave it to them. Yeah, it's like trumping. If someone's got big news, you know, you go out for a meal. And it's like a, oh, well, I'm pregnant, and then somebody else goes, <laughs> "Yeah, well, we I did nine eleven. You know, yeah. <laughs> that would be incredible. That, to be fair, if somebody, <laughs> somebody said that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know which one was worse there. Probably Wait, what, I only heard that one. What did you say? My dad's dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just, Maybe. Why are you, why are you up from here? You know. <laughs> I'm confused by you, Joe. <laughs> There's an, never a more romantic moment than when your dad's dead <laughs> and someone's pregnant. <laughs> and TGI's. And you're going to serve us. Sorry? What do you mean? You're not listening? The meal at TGI's. Oh, right, right, right. It's Joe. Yeah. It's Osama Bin Laden. Yeah. <laughs> that classic, you know, duo. Oh, and then I guess the third person who's got the news originally. Yeah. God. Peter Sutcliffe. <laughs> Strange group of friends you have. <laughs> I'm not sure about you. Yeah. Sort yourself out, Joe. Stephen lies. Stephen sweet little lies. Oh, yeah. He's proper fit and gives me a wide on. So, I am detective for Stephen lies. Wow. And this week we have what looks like a big onion. <laughs> it um, does, yeah. What is it, please? It is a uh, humidifier sort of thing. It, uh, you put liquid in it and it makes a smoke come out. Nice. It smells delicious. What is on that flavour? What's the scent? Depends. Uh, the one I've got at home is vanilla. What's in here? Nothing at the moment. Oh. Oh, but if you can open it, though. Mm. It's, a, it's an oil diffuser. Diffuser. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Max. Hello. Uh, explain how this is yours, please. So I've got a lot of things like this in my room. Uh, I've got, uh, you know, the ones where you put like the Glade spray in? Nice. Shh, shh. 
Yeah, so because uh, I like having a nice smelling room, my girlfriend uh, sort of likes it as well. Uh, the issue with this one, which I didn't know when I originally bought it, is that steam comes out of it. Raw. So it, 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 I think it sort of boil. It doesn't boil the oil, but it heats it up to. I guess it does boil it. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of fun. Uh, but I had it next to my desk, which is right next to my computer, so I stopped using it. Nice. Because I can't have... I don't want moisture in the room where... Oh, God. That, yeah, that yeah. beast's in. But yeah. I got it because uh, I, I was sort of trumping a lot. Where did you get it from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max, where did you get it from? Uh, have you been to the Arndale recently? No. Okay, well, in the Arndale... Der- the oil no. diffuser shop. You could say, you could say anything there. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's an oil diffuser shop. Okay, I don't know why you know that. Um, there's- Do you not watch The Mank? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I'm here on Market Street. Interview people about the new oil diffuser shop. <laughs> uh, you know, do you remember the thing that Tony used to work? I don't know how to explain. Oh yeah, yeah. They're like outside shops. The stalls. Yeah, bit, yeah the yeah. stalls. Yeah, and there's one that sells them. Oh okay. So I bought one from there. <laughs> Type in oil diffuser Arndale. Where's the uh, Where's the plug for it? It's uh, battery operated. <laughs> the whole there, it now. Yeah. Be plugged in. Where's the batteries go? I've got no idea, mate. Probably unscrew it or something. Yeah. You want to let me know where those batteries go? That'd be good. A bit of a power. Is a... Should be a plug with it. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, so yeah, so why, why is this yours? Uh, this is my well, this is my girlfriend's oil diffuser, which I uh, broke um, by putting Yazoo in it. Oh, so yeah, you put Yazoo in it. You've got different milkshake. waters, um, and then you put your flavouring in. And then one day I thought, oh, no, it would be good with Ribena, and it was. And then um, one day I thought, it would be good with Yazoo. And so it, why were you putting drinks in this? Um, because it could, because what happens is it does boil it up, and then pff, steamy bits come out. It smells nice. Steamy bits. I like it. She's in soon. I like I like Ribena. Love Ribena. Probably my favourite of the drinks. Well, yeah. uh, we put it in and it smelled like Ribena. And then one day, I think we were having a bit of a laugh of it, I put chocolate azu in it. Um, and then, because I thought, will it bubble it up and make it smell like chocolate milk? No. And Becky doesn't use it anymore because once you do put anything in, she says there is a weird smell of milk. Like, you know, like a bit rotten milk. Yeah. Where'd you, where'd you get it from? Uh, Amazon. Yeah, it looks like an Amazon thing. It re- yeah. It does. Runs off batteries. Does it light up? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's got light there. So what colour do you used to go for? Pink. So Pink. Really nice. Yeah, for your yeah. Ribena as well. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Ryan, uh, we... why is this Joe's? <laughs> no, 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 it's mine. Recently bought it off Amazon. Uh, only used it a couple of times. Recently, because there's dog hairs in this. <laughs> <laughs> I see the dog hairs. There's dog hairs in this. <laughs> it looks like a dog hair. It's not dog hair. Yeah, like is it dog hair. could be your zoo hair. Your zoo hair. <laughs> um... I am leaning towards Joe. I don't think they're dog hairs. Okay, well, based on what you've said, it could be Max, but I don't know, because you said it was battery operated. <laughs> what? Well, no, it didn't. I'm going to go with Joe. Yeah, correct. Well, I'm surprised it's dog hairs, because we, we got, it broke before we got Buck, mm. so I don't know. Anyway, well done, Stephen. Cheers, well done, guys. Stephen. Yeah, well done, mate. Uh, viewers, embarrassing stories. Yes. yes. Oh, this one's a bit. You'll wince at it, but okay. uh, oh, I don't know if I should. No. Just read it and leave it anonymous. Oh no, he's put his name in it. My name's Tom. I don't care about being anonymous. <laughs> 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 One time during intercourse with my ex-girlfriend, I clearly got a bit too excited and went in without hesitation, which ultimately caused me to rip slash snap the underside of my pee-pee. Oh. There was a lot of blood, so much it caused me to go a bit delirious, to which I decided to just sort of waddle to the bathroom, leaving a trail through the house. I just ended up turning one of her period pads into a sort of cock sling <laughs> and, sat, and sat on my windowsill smoking a cigarette, wearing, wearing nothing and contemplating whether, uh, whether I'll ever have sex again. The cherry on the cake was I, I was advised by medical professionals to not use it again for a few weeks. And I gave it about six days before thinking, sod it, oh. it'll be fine. No. Ultimately, it was not fine and it happened again. To this day, it still causes me a lot of discomfort and I generally don't feel like using the fella. Oh, he snapped, oh, he snapped, he snapped his banjo. His banjo. Oh. That's the medical term. Yeah. You snapped your banjo, Ryan? No, no. Never. The Captain Hook did. Never. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's got such a <laughs> playful <laughs> name, hasn't it? <laughs> banjo. The banjo. The old banjo string. I don't know if that's the yeah. medical term, you know. Is it not? A bit like uh, something else that you've said in the past. Or like a felt crumb or something like that. Uh, that's horrible. Oh, yeah, that make you wince when you hear it. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. I felt sad at it's, the end as well. It's quite a common thing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, slapping your banjo. Yeah. Tom, Tom shouldn't have used it again after six days. Yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta let it heal. You horny bugger. That's yeah, yeah so true. Well, literally, maybe. Mm. I think my my worry is like if that was to happen, and you, what what if you just got like a boner just yeah, a week, that's like or, a week into it? Would that hurt? I think it's it probably more the, would. The friction of Ooh, yeah, yeah. Going would it not to... still hurt though? It hurt. No, it hurt to me. Right, but. You know, mm. it wouldn't. God. It's a shame that I feel bad for him at the end, where he said he he, yeah, he doesn't what can feel he do like now? doing it anymore. Can you can you get uh, you know a, ba- a banjo realignment sort of thing? <laughs> can you mm, yeah. get it reattached? If you were to die, would you uh, before? If you knew you were going to die, yeah. would you give permission to do like a banjo string sort of donor? Uh, sure. Yeah, donor. I, I've done it to uh, Ryan's mum. So you could have someone else's banjo? Yeah. Wow. I'd have George Formby's <laughs> with me Blackpool sticker up. <laughs> Great reference there for the fans. Yeah. They love that love shit. Love it. Yeah. Love it. He was a fucking horn dog, Anyone who was in Blackpool in the 1950s is loving this. <laughs> 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 oh, gosh. Did you ever do you remember the first time you pulled <laughs> down oh. your foreskin and saw mm. the rest of your penis? I got a fright. Yeah. Yeah. I had to probably give it a wash. Yeah. Good. What do you mean used yeah. to? <laughs> you got to wash your yeah, penis. I do wash your penis. Yeah, you got yeah. to pull it back. Just <laughs> sorry to listeners. I don't know why I went down that route. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, let's have um, Telly Max. Yeah, Telly Max. Get him, Max. Shut up! I'm trying to watch the TV. Nice, yeah, that can only mean it's Telly Max time. Yeah. Well, hey. Telly, Telly Max. Down it, Ryan. Oh, bloody well, what's this? <laughs> wow. It's so what? underwhelming. <laughs> it's still a bit, I mean, you're going back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Max. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it's a hard act to follow now. <laughs> Stop <laughs> drinking. Stop in your car. You dribb- dribbled some on the table there. Sorry, mate. Carry on. Sorry. Carry on, sorry. Great new Quite film. Film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Um, <laughs> uh, wow, what incredible scenes this week. Um, I was asked to host uh, a B on a uh, TV show about uh, pods, you know, and obviously I'm on one. So. Yeah? Uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Fuck, it feels good to be an athlete. My pec swaying in the breeze, my glutes looking freaking nasty in these tight shorts, and my biceps looking ready to pop like it's 1999. My mum says my body is peak. Yeah, peak fitness, baby. <coughs> what up, Gymshark rep? Would I mind being in a pod? <laughs> sure thing. Not like I'm not already in 104th best in Britain, lol. Oh, 158th. <laughs> okay, get me on a new one, please. Yeah. I'll be there soon. One minute later. Yo, I'm here. Where is everyone? I am Pod, the personal overhaul device. Who are you? It's Max Lowe, the Gymshark athlete. Doesn't sound very glamorous. Get fucked, Tin Can. These glutes are pure glamour, baby. The insides of my shorts are like an Oscar after party. I don't want to hear about your white bits. Oh, satire. Oscar's so white, am I right, guys, lol? (laughs) So why did the Gymshark guys want me here, then? Can't see a podcast going on, lol. I asked the general public if they would snog, marry or avoid you. What do you think they said? Probably all three in that order laugh my ass off. What's he saying? Don't want to clap that. Get fucked. Can't believe little desperate Dan there doesn't want to play on these glutes. I'm an athlete. I'm pure sexy. (laughs) What do you think, Pod? Pod computes you do, in fact, look extremely pretty. (laughs) Well, thanks, Pod. You ain't too bad yourself. God, I feel like this is all happening too quickly. My glutes are quivering. Could you do Pod a favour? Oh, God, Pod. Anything. Let me see them. Gladly, Pod. Wait a minute, Pod. What's this cable attached to you? 
But where does it go? Through these curtains? Oh god! Is that the Wizard of Oz? Who's behind here? Hello! Looking uh, semi-sexy there, I like it. No! <laughs> wow. Just, Joe, you scumbag. I was controlling you the whole time. Yeah, just want to wow. see my little glutes, didn't you? You're naughty, yeah. Joe. Quivering Did you get it breeze. all out? Uh, well, yeah, you, I guess you'd so. You'd know, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw it all. <laughs> <laughs> saw it all. Yeah, a little chub on. I love the studio audience, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, they know when to laugh because you say lol. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more of an instruction. <laughs> <laughs> lol, just kind of <laughs> fucking lol, man. Lol to the fuck <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I actually don't want to be around Joe anymore. No, I don't blame it, neither of us. Is that why you've been off without the podcast? Hey, what, what do you expect? You tricked him into flashing his buttocks, <laughs> you creep. Yeah, yeah. My hot, my hot glutes. Max, you, you need to get away Thank from you. him. I'm sorry that you had to... I uh, we're facing good. it. <laughs> That's too far, isn't it? Disgusting, Joe. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Oh, guys. Strippers in. Hello. Hello. Remember me? Vaguely. No, really. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> Number one character on the podcast. Wrong, yeah. wrong voice. <laughs> Fuck it, I've had fucking hard times. Right. What's your, what's your, <laughs> what's your, <laughs> what's your name, fucking sorry? Fucking hard times. Right. Everything's been fucking taken from me. Sorry, right. who are you? You don't fucking know. No. Only no. fucking Phil M. Oh, oh Phil M. Phil M. M. Yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. you. Yeah, I the rock steadiest exactly. fucking writer of movies in yeah. Manchester. Yeah. How's, how's what life? do you want, Phil? What do I want? I want my fucking podcast back. It's never what? yours. This I isn't want... your podcast. No, not this shit. Hey. <laughs> I had my own movie podcast, that Did film oh. podcast. Oh, right. And some fucking cunt <laughs> comes along and takes my fucking idea. Oh, Joe, me, no, this... Don't put the finger at me. You fuck that pictures podcast. Yeah. Shit name. Yeah, fucking shit. <laughs> that film podcast. You know what you're getting. Shit name, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got an eight minute video and that's what you name it, you dunce. God. The Cinnamon. Hold on, I thought you were coming out of the Cinnamon. Where, where the fuck were you? Well, you I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> to attach myself to that. Well, where did you come from? Do you know what we've said? We feel bad for Adam Brown. Yeah, fucking AB. Because he's had to uh, yeah, put himself with you two dunces. Listen. Cameron used to be an intellectual. What do you want from me, then? I want everything back that you took. You took the fucking shirt off me back, you cunt. I didn't. <laughs> Why do you think I'm topless? I'm going to shove your figure. <laughs> yeah. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Sorry. Sorry. I've been told I've got the figure of an athlete. Yeah, yeah. Which one? The foot. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. Sorry, sorry. I'm in pain. Um, you look it. Come on here. What What's hurting? Me back from holding up the film podcast uh, <laughs> society on on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's just your podcast, isn't it? Yeah. It is me um... podcast, yeah. It was me and my friend Bernadette. What's <laughs> happened to Bernadette? Died in a car crash. Oh, <laughs> sorry to hear that. Jesus. I texted him. I texted him and said, "Joe him? stole the." <laughs> Yeah, fucking debt. Bernie, Bernie <laughs> Debt. Bernie Debt. Well, he's in debt now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah he is. Yeah, the funeral cost Bernie, thirty grand. Oh, what, who, did you get some sort of act to turn up? No, we had we had to get loads of little coffins for all the body parts. Right. Well, they wouldn't sad. put it in one, so I had about fifty coffins. What sort of undertaker <laughs> wouldn't put it in one? Yeah. Fucking, I had to get fifty undertakers. Fifty wow. undertakers. Sounds excessive. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like it would cost <laughs> more. Sounds like you've really wasted your money. Yeah. <laughs> Not my money. His oh, son's. His, his five-year-old yeah, son. Yeah. Five. He's in debt. Oh, Jesus. Fucking Gary debt. Right. <laughs> Gary. He, he can He's can, he he a kid, Gary, these oh, days. No. Fucking Bernie. It's off, isn't it? He's dead now. Yeah, right. we established yeah. that. So I yeah. texted him, I said, Joe stole the idea of our podcast. Yeah. Surely yeah. he'd reply, who's Joe? It did. Yeah. And he didn't oh, message no. back <laughs> after <laughs> that. That's, that's rude, said. isn't it? That's rude. Very that rude. is rude. Who does yeah. that? So I cut, it's cut, I, I cut the uh, brakes on his car. Right. Because he didn't message me back. Right. Is this why you uh, spent so much on the funeral? You come yeah. here topless to tell us you killed your business partner. I'm topless because you, you stole the shirt from me back. Have you never heard that common phrase? <laughs> We're back to that now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Back to that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joe, you must feel some guilt. No, none at all. Fucking guilty boy. None at all. You've stolen a podcast. No, I've not. Yes, Even, you have. I didn't, I didn't know yours existed. You did, it's been on there. Yeah, how, true. How, how do you, you not know? Two you, seconds you, on the last time. Hey. 
Nothing wrong with that. So what do you want me to do now? Do you want to apologise? Don't look to me. Why Don't you, look to me. Looking I feel at like you, need to, you want me to apologise. I'm the one that I mean, came all the way from Kentucky, America. There's a man grieving here. Phil Lem. Yeah. I, I'm sorry for stealing an idea of your podcast. Would you want to come on the show with a top on? I, I'll do it with no top. No deal. No top. No deal. I'm oh, not doing no it. Deal? Why no deal? You owe this man a lot. Yeah, like he's stolen his a life. shirt. You owe his me a life. shirt. He killed his best mate. <laughs> he wasn't my best mate. Sex. I fucking hated him. Oh, right. He stole my wife and my you son. You can't do a podcast with people you hate. I feel yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least cover, at least cover the nipples. Why, Why are you telling me what oh, to for do? For the audio listeners, yeah, <laughs> Phil M's got no top on. What? Oh, oh can, can you not have any more tits in the podcast? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that me? Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. No, no, you're, 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 is get your head out your ass. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. What do I... I think I think you should change the name of your podcast to that Phil M podcast. <laughs> there you go. Deal. Okay. Go on, do it then. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean, do it? Well, that's one, that's what you need you to do. You're gonna do it. Do it now. I can't. I can't. I've rolled up a phone with me. Can't it's only slightly, the name it's only your slightly worse than what you currently have. <laughs> <Phil M podcast. laughs> okay, I've got to be the next guest on your show. Deal. I think that's you're actually gonna do it. Mm-hmm. I promise you will. I promise. <laughs> you didn't have anything crossed. <laughs> no, I don't know what I would. I might watch it this I'm week. Watching him. Yeah, yeah. Just well, joking. Just, just a little joke. Just a shot. Um, well, I'm glad <laughs> we've missed. come to a. I'm going to yeah. go now. So people will actually get to see Phil M on that podcast, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Can't yeah, wait. Yeah. Can't yeah? wait. Yeah. Christmas special. No, no, no. Oh, no. He said next week. No, yeah, next, yeah, week. Well, <laughs> next week. Next week. Next week. Right, okay, deal. <laughs> there we go. What are you doing Friday? Good stuff. There you go, Phil. I've got to go. I've got to go pick up Gary. Send him my love. Bit weird to do <laughs> to a child, a little five-year-old boy. How is it? Oh, weird that. I forget I said that. Weird, weird that, me. Ryan. Yeah. Pedo Ryan. It's a bit Pedo weird. Pedo Ryan, new segment. Oh, can't, <laughs> can't, help, can't help but think that I was right to cut him off. Yeah. Back when I did. What a crazy ten minutes that was. Well, you've got to have a whole half an hour with him at the No. Well, we might cut it short. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Ooh. It is a showdown. Ooh. I wish it was a <laughs> Joe's showdown, you know, down the fucking drain. Uh, it is Ryan's crying versus Joe's woes. Ooh. Ready for it. I'm excited for that. Let's have a look. Ready oh, shit. It. Not on aeroplane mode. Sorry, everyone. Uh, Ryan, you are yes. the defending champion. Would you like to go first? Absolutely. Okay, I'll start pressure. with... Oh, that's right. It's last week. Oh, this point's <laughs> taken uh, off him. Shut up. Me and Max are adjudicating this. People that wear headphones in their ears when they're talking. That's a shit one. I've got AirPods. Oh, I can't wait and for this. It doesn't mean, you, it doesn't uh, mean you, like, you're playing anything. Yeah, but it's just, um, it's like, I, I don't know, maybe it's, I see it as like a closed door. It's not there, because you can talk whilst they're in. Also, are you starting well, this conversation? No, no, like if I say I'm talking to you and you've got your AirPods in or whatever. Yeah, but like, am uh, I sitting there having a good time listening to my music and then you've just started talking? No. So I mean, no, because sometimes people just—I I don't know—you you see walking, mm. people walking down the street and they are and talking you just talk to, to someone and they've got their that's that their scares me. In and I remember one time we were filming the—it uh, was the the drug dealer one at Christmas. Yeah, there's a guy walking from about fifty yards away, really loudly talking. I thought, oh god, a mental case is coming. Yeah, uh, and then as he got closer, I realised he was having a conversation with his headphones in. I get you there, Ryan. I get you. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm going to speak I mean, to someone, I've got headphones. I don't think in, that's what you out. meant, though. That's not what you meant, though, is it? No. Don't, uh, you're giving well, a credit what to what he just, well, deserve what it. Stephen just said at the end there, where if he's speaking to someone, he'll take. Yeah, because I, I do, I do get what you mean. Mm. I don't feel like I should have to. What if there's yeah. earwax on it? Though? Yeah, I suppose. Mm. But you know, I, I just. Why think should I have to change you... myself for uh, what other people want? Yeah, but if we were having a conversation, you had your airpods in. I'd just be thinking, you know, are you actually listening to what I'm saying? But if or I'm having a conversation, you're singing Mika Grace Kelly as he's. Yeah. Surely, if I'm ah, responding to what you're sh- saying. Mm. Okay, Joe. Go on, Joe. Why are Hoover's so loud? <laughs> okay, uh, Ryan. What's your next one? The smell of bleach. Is oh, awful. Really? Yeah, I hate it. It's not I bad. Really but if it, if it, it kills bacteria, yeah, surely yeah. you know you have it, to have the side effect of it smelling bad. Uh, you, you're right. You are. And you also, are right. it's also good because you don't want to, you smell it before you touch it, so you know yeah, not to touch so it. True. This, this is this is very true. Yeah. If yeah. you were going to drink toilet water, but then you smell the bleach, you'd go, no thanks. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Very good point. Mm. Right. Still an awful smell. What do they do before door handles? <laughs> 
Okay, I think this is good. <laughs> Go on, Joe. <laughs> Just like, what happened before then? Do you think the door handle came with the door? I thought they kind of, yeah, they must have been struggling for a while. Yeah, it's sort of like saying, what did they do with cars before they had, like, wheels? God. That's my next one. <laughs> um, I just uh, don't know what they would have done. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of, like, heavy pushing. Maybe it's, like, yeah. sal- saloon doors in the Westerns. Oh, right. They okay. didn't have door handles. <laughs> Shit, yeah. I'm just picturing a car dealership. I'd love this Jaguar, but have you got any wheels? What the fuck are wheels, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, you make good point. Error. The saloon ones are, is is true. So, would, would, did everyone's like front house had like saloon doors? I don't know. I wasn't around in that time. Famously yeah. so. Question. It's my question. No doors. Yeah. Also, people lived in caves. Yeah, there was no doors on them. Yeah, what mm. they have done then? What if the door handle was about? Then they would have got the idea. I think there would have been a door. <laughs> it would have been blocking yeah. the entrance without a handle, but it wouldn't have shut fully. You know, yeah, been, right. just like cloths. I mean, like, don't join him, Ryan. Right. Um, uh, whoa! Sorry, sorry. Max, sorry. I believe it was one nil to Ryan before that because of the shit. I, I'm I'm a big fan of the door handles. Door, one one. Is this the final one? Yeah. Final one. Final oh, one. Is it? Oh fuck! Right. Hold go home. Uh, oh. Dentist waiting rooms. What about them? Specifically, the dentist. Um, just a very awful act. I feel like I'm alone when it's the dentist waiting room. Mm. Like when you're in the doctors, you know, you're surrounded by other ill people as well. Yeah, but something about the dentist. I feel like I'm I'm waiting for. I am waiting, but like it's yeah. In, in I feel, it, I feel there's alone. Like a, there's a sense of camaraderie in a, a doctor's office. Yeah, because everyone's sick. Whereas in a dentist, it's if like, it's just yeah. you, I've not been to the dentist in ten years. I can smell. Wow. Um, I think I think I'm with you there, right? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think I think especially when Is you're waiting for a shit, checkup. Shit, like shit magazines, oh, you rubbish TV. Yourself, huh? Not if you bring someone with you, right? Over the door before door handles. Over the yeah. door. Oh, I don't like dentists. I'd rather yeah. listen to well, a listen fucking Hoover than your podcast, somewhere. mate. Pictures yeah? podcast. Yeah. Download it now. Subscribe. <laughs> oh, do you eat nachos in cinema? I do. What about Tango Ice Blast? They're fun. Oh, I don't like it. I get red. I get blue. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, you must have listened. Fucking hell! I saw a clip and it was. Boring. You, we've, we're doing a podcast now where he says he's. This is your podcast, and he says he's bored in dentist waiting rooms. I'm with him though. It's relatable. Yeah. I've uh, it's not. I'm not. I'm not actually been. I'm with you. It's not relatable. Yeah. I've not been to the dentist office for. Boring. Go to the dentist. Can't yeah. not I haven't been for a while. Uh, I haven't no, been in a couple of years. So when none of us have been for a while. No. So none of us. No. When I did go, because I what you're going through. I hate the experience of being there because I feel alone. James O'Brien. Yeah. I like. I like the loneliness and the dogs. Do you know the fact that you're pointing and shouting shows you're you're really under the cosh here. Great podcast, better than that pictures podcast. Struggling. I know. We can all see. What's the next one, Joe? You said that. Goldfish. Fuck off. Right, well done, Ryan. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey! 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 <laughs> Points deducted. Points deducted Why? for knocking water, for man. Not, 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 oh, ah, <laughs> can't speak! Do you hear that, mate? It's going to even <laughs> get a sentence. Yeah, what about I'm the people's champion. Mm. Just feel sorry for him. Joe, like, could you grab those t shirts, please? Okay. What do we do with these? Well, you'll find out. If you just put them on the desk, please, Joe. So for listeners, Joe has a, uh, a big pile of. Of t-shirts. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Joe. Yes. It is now time for another world record attempt. Yay. You had a great go last time. I've been looking for the nichest world records that I believe are breakable. Yep. This one involves the most t-shirts put on in a minute whilst reciting the happy birthday song. <laughs> How many was it? I believe eight would was probably yeah, win it. Yeah, perfect. Quite quick. Uh, okay. You so got it. You got to get through the song well, as well. Must sing a happy birthday too. Anyone? It could be Andrew. Joe. I'll, uh, I'll go get for, a time. Go up. for Andrew. Go for Joe. Here we go. Wait, wait. Yeah. Get the minute yeah. ready. 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 Wait, no, let me Three. just organise these. Right no, 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 no. Three, two, one. Uh, go. Birthday to you. Louder. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Steve. Happy birthday to you. Joe, you need to speed up if you're going to break the record. Happy birthday to you. Can someone get this one? No, no, it's a, it's a one person task, to jo- Max. Happy birthday, dear Steve. Happy I'm not birthday a fan of the name, Steve. Who's Steve? You. Joe, you are really off the pace here. Birthday. Get it on. That's it. Time's Come ticking. On. Time's ticking. Happy birthday to you. What time are we on? Quicker. Come on, it's 25 seconds. Happy birthday to Steve. Happy birthday to That's Steve. That's it. Now you've got it. Happy birthday. You've got to pull them down. Steve. Happy birthday. Joe, you've got to pull it down. 15 seconds. You've not pulled it down. Steve. It's around your You're chest. Close. Happy birthday to Steve. <laughs> 
Happy 20 seconds to left. To Steve. <coughs> Happy birthday to nice. Steve. Happy birthday to Steve. Happy birthday to Steve. Nine. Quick. To Steve. Happy birthday 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 to Steve. Two. Two. One. Steve. Well done, Steve. Was that eight? Yeah. That was very Fantastic. quick. Well done. <gasps> what do well, I win? Uh, respect. You've got 1% respect from me. Although that could just podcast a terrible name, isn't it? Yeah. Lost your respect. That respect. <laughs> Let's put it to the max. Put it to the max. To the max. Put it to the max. Hi, Stephen. This is a put it to the max, and it's happening right now. Oh, wow. Live. I'm 17, and I met this girl in town and got her Instagram. She added me back, and she's 21. 21. Ooh. We've been talking for a couple of days, but she hasn't asked me for my age. Should I tell her I'm 17, or maybe just let oh. it slide and her think I'm older? Ah, you've got to tell her. No. Oh, hey. Jesus. I mean, it's seven, he's 17. Yeah. He likes her. She likes him. It's legal. She's mm. just, you're not used to that. She's uh, going to be cancelled so hard online. Not really. Yeah. Yeah. If it was she the other be. way around, you'd say the lad has to know if the girl was 17. So I feel like, you know, quality, this should be the other way around. But he's 18 to 22. Is that is that bad? I feel, I don't know. I feel I feel bad for her. Be honest. Start the yeah. relationship honest. Obviously, honesty is yeah, the, yeah. the best. I was just playing devil's advocate here. Because it's not, it's legal. Yeah, and if she likes him, yeah. The, the older they get, the more like acceptable. Acceptable it is. Yeah. But right yeah, now, maybe yeah, yeah. because you're 17, just let her know that you can't. Just really... because 17 is a tricky age. 16, also, very tricky. Yeah. yeah, especially if yeah, she doesn't know. She's met you at a club. As if you've met her in town, she might have thought you're 18. Yeah, you've got to be 18 yeah. to get in. Yeah. The longer it goes on, the worse it gets when she finds Plus out. Plus, as well, you don't know Hello. about about her. There's a ch- if she finds out, she'll be. F- Furious, furious. Yeah. Because yeah. also, if this is like a long-term thing, you go, "When's your birthday?" Yeah. Imagine if you were with yeah. someone, yeah, and they went, "Oh, actually, I'm this age." You'd be like, Bleh. "Yeah." yeah. So tell her you're forty fucking two. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eighty-seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were sixty. <laughs> <laughs> you're a liar. Um. Yeah, I'd say tell her. Okay. Absolutely, yeah, be honest with her. Yeah. And then if she gets more excited by that, run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> run. <laughs> she goes, what? We were 15? Gross. <laughs> then, yeah. Uh, yeah, Henry, be honest with her. Yeah, sort yourself out, Henry. You know, you know, and that's why you've, you've come to us, the masters here, because you know, you know the policy. Also, it could be considered a crime. I hate the thought of uh, going out to clubs now and, you know, meeting up with someone, because, you know... What am I? Twenty six, and eighteen year olds can go, and it's just ugh. Yeah, especially in Saint Helens yeah. when they're, you know, twelve, on the mum's ID. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's the final question. Uh, again, this is one that was either googled or found by Max. Would you rather have to? Use. I'll read it as it's written. <laughs> Would you rather have to use a eater a cactus or use it as a dildo? Uh, say, say it again. Oh, right, Would you rather have to use a eater a cactus or use it as a dildo? Nice. I don't know. It doesn't even make sense. I was a little thing. I got it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like you're the, wanking there, buddy. Oh. Is there a problem with that? Yeah. Yeah, on a podcast, maybe. Why? You start wanking on a podcast. What's wrong with it? Where would we look? look? Have to look anywhere. What would you do if Adam Brown just started w- w- whipping his cock out? And would you rather have to eat a cactus or use it as a dildo? <laughs> eat, eat it. Eat it. I'm yeah. Shoving a cactus. Can on I? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I prepare eat it. the. Do I have to just eat it raw? I, I think can't. you have to eat it raw. Right. Because straight up. I, when I was in New York, um, that I was having some sort of tacos, um, mm-hmm. and there, there's like cactus yogurt, cacti yogurt, oh. yeah. and Lawrence, who I was with, was saying. Oh, it actually tastes really nice. I was like, it, it tastes like cactus that puree. Tastes, Tequila is cac- cactus. Is it? Is Agave, it? yeah. Cacti. Made, from cac- made from cactus, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where did they put the spikes? I, I don't know, mate. I don't know. The thing is, is that it's it's hard to stomach those bricks. Uh, I don't mean that picture's broadcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is great publicity. I keep naming it. Yeah. I wish I had named it. It'd be something decent. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. You might, you might as well cling film. You know, that's better. 
<laughs> yeah, because you're clinging on it. to Adam Brown. <laughs> Ooh, please let, please get me back in a radio studio, please, please. <laughs> Can you talk about me down at Radio X? <laughs> Will you write a reference for me, please? <laughs> can you can you borrow a good word to Chris Moyles, please? <laughs> no. What's um, Nick Grimshaw like? You. Hey. Hey. Oh, this I is it. Me. Yeah, fuck you, Ryan. I've, I've, not not said, Ryan. I've not said anything about your shit podcast. Oh. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only, I'm only half joking. I'm sorry? I'm eating the cactus. I think we all are. No one's know. using it. How much know. would you have to be paid to use a cactus as a dildo? The issue I have is you, 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 you bite into it. You've got all those spikes going through your gums and stuff. Ooh, yeah. and then You're you, going to shove up then, your ass. And then you swallow it. It's going to cut all your fucking things up. What I do is... And then, and then you shit it out... And it's all the spikes going so up the really, arse anyway. So really, you're going to have to get it on the arse, He's no matter what. Die, but I don't know, because then it'd be no, going up your bum with no. force, I imagine. Force. No, I'm doing it. For it, to, for it to go in, you have to use Can some force. Can you put a bit of lube no. on it? I don't know. Can I cut it up? The blood would... No, I think you've just got to use it. Oh, fuck. What I think is, is if you take each spike out, which oh. you can, and then eat those individually, it'll take a long time, yeah. and then you can just enjoy the lovely plant up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a little dumb. That's what I'd do. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to use it. In agreement. Order. In agreement. I'll and say, and imagine, imagine the looks you get in B&Q as well. Yeah. yeah. We don't often all agree. You don't have to laugh. It's fine. I'd, I just I'd, don't know if you buy cactus from B&Q. Of course you do. No, yeah. you don't. Of course you do. You, you do. What do you mean? Yeah. yeah, you do. So if I go to buy cactus, the B&Q. first place I'm going to yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not the first place. What? It's just a place yeah, you can do. Yeah. Hence the fucking reference. What do you want me to say? Materials. Cacti R Is that what? you want? You can get I go to a green, not a greenhouse, a garden centre first. Yeah, but so no, but so B&Q is a garden centre. It has a full garden centre at the back. It's in B&Q. Stupid idiot. That's where we got our cactus from. Is it? Yeah. Are you so dumb? Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm <laughs> there's, no, there's nothing to back that up. He's just proved I you wrong. I just don't think that being so bitter over losing bit. Joe's woes. <sighs> <sighs> I'm with you here, Joe. Google buy cactuses. Well done, you're on that side. Yeah, yeah. On the sinking ship. <laughs> sinking shit. <laughs> the name for their podcast. <laughs> I like I like how about a minute ago it was, we don't always agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's just... 30 seconds later. Yeah. You get cactuses from B&Q. You get yeah, Venus yeah. flytraps from B&Q. Wow. Yeah. A whole load of flowers there. a huge there. plant section. Yeah. A huge plant section. They do. There's like a whole outdoors bit. I don't yeah, care, are you? You do care. I you're very passionate about it about yeah. 90 seconds ago. Yeah. You and now you realise you're wrong and your blood sugar's gone down. Idiot. Blood sugar's always falling. Yeah, always. You're constantly mm. falling. You diabetic? Woman. <laughs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> or winter. I love this sort of silence. <laughs> we have to end on a big joke, but we can't quite. Don't have to. Can't quite. Don't have to. Good no? falling out. Don't to be continued at the end. Oh, okay. That's yeah. us what to do, do oh, you? Oh, sorry. Glad you're not on the podcast for the next seven weeks. Uh, yeah. Oh, mm. fucking dreamy that. Yeah, yeah. Go on. I'm going to be writing a big Ryan's crying. Yeah. Is that the big joke we end on? Hey. Yeah. Mate, to be honest, you only won because I despise him. Oh. What would happen if we put we in there? Smell You've probably done it, haven't you? It'd do it now. Of, it would smell of milky wee. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, like a knockoff chocolate bar in Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> milky wee. <laughs> Come and say milky wee. Yeah. Yeah. Back to Scotland. Yeah, yeah. Everyone likes a battered Milky Way <laughs> before the wee old firm. <laughs> We're going to the old firm game. Get your Milky Ways. Get your Milky Ways, boy. Mm. Did, you, uh, did you ask your mum if she enjoyed my Milky Way the other day? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. We found it. <laughs> Come in, your mum. Come in, your mum. Come in, your mum. Come in, your mum. Do you want to hear an impression of a bottle of water going into a cup? <laughs> go on. Oh, Can hear really an impression good. of uh, Ryan Locke on stage. Um, uh, 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 Who put those three cards up? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, literally. Yeah. Who did put them three cards up? Oh, what? If oh, you know sorry. who you are, they're not yeah. watching this, are they? Did the King Gong <laughs> lasted 45 seconds? <laughs> to, when, I did, uh, when I did King Gong the second time, someone put a card up and the audience turned on him. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm in a weird place now. Are you? Does it feel like Monday? Nice. <laughs> does it feel like a Monday, does it? No, no you have you no, not I been listening so. to a word we said about shagging Ryan's mum? What's that got to do with Monday? <laughs> exactly. Oh, My right. point oh exactly. I see, you right. You've been listening to a word yeah. I said to Joe about being <laughs> Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where are you getting all these cans from, Joe? Clean it up. Not in the podcast game. <laughs> <laughs>
There we go, we've got it. We've got the final joke. Uh, I thought Ryan's mum was the final joke. Oh, that is nasty. Oh, oh, get out, Joe. Get out. What the hell? I've been joined by... No, no, Joe get out, get out, get out. Get his oh, mic. Fuck. That Stop woman's clapping. done so much for this Stop podcast. Stop clapping. Nice. Carol. Shut up. What? Thanks for watching the Stephen Trice podcast. I've been joined by Ryan Locke. Hey, Ryan, hey. Ryan, Ryan. Max Smith. Hey. And Jim McGraw. Hey. <laughs> stay safe, stay humble, and ciao.